My name is Vijay Kumar and I have a total of 45 years of experience in human resource management. I have served in the Indian Navy IT companies and now for the past 15 years, I have been a trainer in seven habits of highly effective people and other soft skills. I have experience of interviewing college graduates when I used to go for campus recruitments. What I found was that the students have limited clue of what type of jobs they want. The reason could be that they are kept so busy in their academics that they think there is no life beyond the textbook oriented learning. It is an unfortunate fact that everyone wants to be an engineer whether he or she has the right aptitude for it. No one measures aptitude while applying for an engineering seat as marks are all that are considered. Similarly, for a business management course, if there is an aptitude for sales or HR or business administration or accountancy is not considered. On graduating, students may find that they do not have the aptitude for the type of job they are likely to get based on their academics. So, in spite of passing an exam with high marks, they may not excel in that area because of lack of aptitude. There are career counsellors who can guide students before they can take up a particular course, but in a country where parental pressure plays a bigger role, career counselling is not able to make an impact that it could. There are many parents who get stressed because their children are not the toppers in 10th or 12th. They feel that their children cannot do well, but that is not true. The child may have better qualities in interpersonal communication ideas to solve problems, being an empathetic listener, or having a service orientation to help others. These qualities have a far bigger say in molding one's career than just high marks. My advice to youngsters who are already in colleges and waiting for their first job is this. Do your academics well whether you like the subject or not. In addition, develop a well-rounded personality that college life offers. What students should do is to volunteer to all activities that college offers. I was part of National Cadet Corps, which helps develop discipline, adventure and teamwork. Debating societies help polish our public speaking skills. I have been speaking to students who volunteer to Red Cross in the local hospital to showcase their service orientation. Sports activities help hone our physical prowess and competitive spirit and never say die attitude. Hence, college students must focus on building a strong personal brand. And networking is also important. It should be of the right kind. LinkedIn gives a great platform for that. Having a good LinkedIn profile and getting good connections with future employers is required as these days, employers seek to check the candidate's online presence. But remember not to make unprofessional comments or posts. I have a video on how one should make one's LinkedIn profile. I've given the video link in the comments section. Students should also participate in organizing and attending workshops and while there, engage in meaningful conversations. Good grades are important, but developing soft skills is equally important. The workplace requires good communication and teamwork skills. Employers value adaptability and problem solving. Students must seek feedback and learn from it rather than being defensive about what they hear about their shortcomings. Growth comes from embracing challenges. Lastly, students should customise their resumes based on the job they are looking for. Each job comes with a job description. There are software known as Applicant Tracking System and HR departments. In large companies use them to filter out what they think are unsuitable for them. The software scans the resume to check if the resume contains the key words mentioned in the job description. If it does not find enough of them, the software automatically rejects that resume even before it is seen by a human resource department executive. Think of a human rejected by a software. That is a real tragedy. Prepare as per my suggestions and you are going to have a fantastic job. Keep learning and have a positive attitude. That is the key to success. I make videos to help freshers to prepare to get their dream jobs. Please subscribe for more career tips and tricks.
like comment and share if you found this video helpful. If you need videos on any particular topic, put it in the comment section.